I want to get into, you know, this, this big question that just comes up over and over in the dating world. And that is who pays for the date? Well, you know, this is something that comes up with everybody. And I've got everybody confused about it from young women, old women, older men, younger men. And it's just challenging. And I'll tell you why. It's challenging because we're dealing with 2018, but not everybody grew up with values and uh, dating lessons that are 2018 applicable. Uh, a lot of people have, you know, the, a mind or things that they think about dating that are from, you know, 1990, 1970 you know, or before. So we have, we have people with various levels of their values and, and awareness and, um, you know, understanding of dating protocol or whatever progression of dating and the dynamics between men and women. So what we have is a whole lot of people like at different levels. Some people think that the man should always pay and some people uh, are are comfortable and think that it's very appropriate like oh you know I think you know what going 50 50 is the way to go and some people think that you know like whoever 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 paid for one the next person pays for that and some people think that if you ask you know then uh, you pay and if you didn't ask you don't pay for anything and then there are some that would say that you know like well I'll pay a little bit uh, or I'll offer to pay something we, we're all over the board. The problem is, you know, we're not very matched up like this all the time. So you could be a personality match. It's very smooth like this. But when it comes to handling the, the, the bill, you guys are like mismatched. And that's okay, because we're going to talk through that. So let's get into this topic and hopefully we can do it some justice, because it's a big question. So here's my, here's, here's the situation I'm going to share. We all know still in 2018, very much it's expected that the man asks the woman out, all right? We know that, you know, in most cases, it's the man doing the chasing. Doesn't mean that it should always be that way, and that doesn't make it right, but what we're doing is we're dealing with reality, okay? The reality is most of the time, men have to ask first. And another reality is that most of the time, the man is expected to pay, all right? Now we could go and we could certainly have these progressive 2018 beliefs that are like, women are equal, and they should get equal, you know, and they should be treated equally at home, at work, and even with dating. A lot of people draw the line right there because that would mean that women would have to ask men out, women would have to pay for dates, and we're not at that point yet. So even if, it makes sense for us to be like, no, 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 let's just be flat out. Let's just make it a kind of, it's almost almost like that flat tax idea. Let's make it a flat sort of thing where, um, you know, men and women split the costs or whoever asks them out pays for all of the date. We could, we could try and do that, but it's not gonna be very helpful because that would be like, we're living in a dream world and that dream world isn't happening. So maybe in another few generations, that might be something that uh, presents itself. But right now we're dealing with 2018. And in, even in 2018, the real the reality is that you, you should be more comfortable and not more comfortable, but it's more, um, not even more acceptable. Just the odds are the guy is going to be expected to ask the woman and out and pursue her, and the guy's gonna be expected to more to uh, foot the bills. And that's just the way things are. However, there are some wrinkles to that that I would want you to th consider, okay? So let's go with this situation. Let's say a man really asks you out and wants to take you out to dinner. You as the woman accept. Okay, so you, you, all you're doing is just dinner. Dinner went great. You had a fantastic time, you enjoyed his company, you had a good meal, you had great conversation, and then it comes time for the bill. So the guy, for sure, should be reaching for that bill. He's the man, he asked you out on the date, you know, the, the culturally, he's expected to take care of the bill. Now, what is, what is a woman expected to do? you know, culturally, you know, I don't think we're at the point anymore where we're saying like a woman should just never be expected to pay. But it's, we're kind of at that weird in between place right now where we're kind of questioning that like that shouldn't be exactly how it works. Um, but in most cases, you're on that first date, 
you know, even if uh, you, you are going to let the man pay, it's, it's that awkward moment, right? Where you don't know, you haven't talked about it. And here's what I would say. I would tell you that if a date went great, I would absolutely, I would absolutely find a way to express my gratitude and appreciation for a great evening. What does that mean? Does that mean that I'm recommending that as a female, you say, hey, I've got this. And you reach over and pull that bill and take it and pay for it right in front of him, whether he likes it or not. I'm not saying that, okay? Because I think it's actually, in most cases, important for a man uh, to pay for that first date. Part of, part of what makes men feel like men is the ability to provide. And we can, we can have a big old discussion about, you know, providing is something that shouldn't just be a man thing or that doesn't, you know, I'm sorry, it, it, it actually is pretty much ingrained in us. You know, like part of what we offered women since caveman times was our ability to provide. And so I think it's important that we just don't totally diminish that. All right? I don't think we can totally get rid of that because that's like something men hang their hat on. And sure, in 2018, maybe m more men or, or fewer men hang their hat on that or more men would appreciate not having that role or splitting it up better. But it's still safe to say that, you know, like I think in most cases, if a guy asks you out on the first date, he should be expected to pay. Whoever, whoever asks, I think, should be expected to pay for the entire date that was requested. If I ask you to dinner, I'll pay for dinner, you know? But again, getting to the point of if you had a good time, how can you make a gesture? Well, I don't suggest paying or, or gripping, gripping the, the bill and pulling it away from him and not letting him pay. I think that you could make a gesture to show your appreciation more like, hey, um, can I can I help out with that? It's a great time. You know, can can I take care of the tip? I, as a man, and I know many other men, would be thrilled with that gesture. Having said that, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to take you up on it, okay? But hearing that does wonders for me. You know, chances are the guy will probably, um, you know, not take you up on it. Maybe he does, but your intention shouldn't, I, I think your, your intention shouldn't be to say it and not mean it. I think if you have a good time, it's, you should want to mean it because, you know, like the, it's, it's, it's a gesture, all right? And even if you said, you know what, can I, can I, uh, can I, uh, can, let me take care of half, you know, like, well, I, w I, would, I would encourage you to consider this. If you're that woman that says, I don't let him man pay for me. I'll pay for my half every time. I would tell you, here's what you're doing. You're sending a confusing signal to him because what he's just trying to establish, whether he knows it or not, is he's trying to establish a male to female dynamic, a romantic dynamic, because, you know, splitting, splitting a bill, you know, 50, 50 is what like platonic friends do. And even platonic friends allow each other to cover each other's costs. Um, but you'll see that more along platonic friends of like, Oh, you got the bill. Well, here's, here's my 20 for half of mine, uh, for my half. What a man is, if you, if you're, if you're doing that, you might be, you should be concerned with the signal that you're sending the guy, because what it might be doing is sending him the signal of like, I don't see you romantically. And that might discourage the guy from how he views you, asking you out on a date again, because he thinks like, well, oh, she paid for her half. That was super awkward. And Polly means he's going to jump to the conclusion that you aren't interested in him romantically. When you might be, but it might just be your thing. We're like, I never let a man pay for me, pay for anything. Um, I always paid my half. I don't want to owe anybody. And um, I would tell you on the first date, that's probably not the best plan. Uh, I get what you're saying, but again, I'm coming at you from, from the same angle of we can wish that we were living in a world where more things were, we, we, we have advanced to uh, new levels, um, but we haven't. That, we haven't grown that far yet, okay? So just like I'm telling you, we can't expect that, oh yeah, you know, women should pay for, for half all the time, or women should be the ones paying for guys now because equal everything, right? We haven't made that leap yet. And just like I said that we could say that, but it won't play out well. You can say that I always go 50, 50. You can say that and you can have that sort of uh, value for yourself. 
it won't play out very well in the dating scene because again, so many guys will be misconstruing that and taking it uh, as, as a negative, thinking like, geez, she won't even let me pay for her meal. That's not very good because that probably means she doesn't see me romantically or she doesn't want to, you know, like be indebted to me is might be what, you know, she's saying or whatever. It's not a good sign. It makes me feel uncomfortable and like, I, you know, I asked her out. She's not even letting me do what I asked. I asked her out so I could pay for it and enjoy her time and, and enjoy her company. So I think that that's a little bit confusing for a guy. But I think it's always great to hear that, you know, hey, can I can I pay for the tip? You know, or you know, even if you offered to go 50-50, you're like, oh, you know, that can I can I can I cover half of that? You know, the guy should probably hear you out and then he should respectfully turn it down. So if you're a guy hearing that, I think you should respectfully turn it down. Um, but what you can do is is set the because if you like somebody, you, one of the things that you have to kind of check off as a woman is making sure that a guy that you like understands that you appreciate him for more than his ability to provide and uh, pay for things. Just like you want to be appreciated for more than just your ability to sit there and look pretty. You want to be appreciated for your intelligence, your communication, um, the, 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 the great experience it is to be around you. Like maybe you're supportive, maybe you have great things to, to inspire him in his mind, new thoughts that he can appreciate. That's the stuff that you want to be appreciated for. And you know, you don't want to be just considered like a, a pretty piece of a, of a trophy to walk around with, right? Well, a guy doesn't want to be considered just a provider, okay? So that's why it's so important. I hope that you, you make that connection. A guy doesn't want to be considered just a provider. So he wants you to you know enjoy his company, want to be around it. And one of the ways that you can demonstrate that is by making a small gesture of, uh, saying like, hey, I, I, can I take care of this? Or you could say, I had a great time. So you could say, I had a great time. You know, um, maybe let's go get a drink or an ice cream. Uh, I, you know, let me let me treat you. And you extend the date and then you go to somewhere else. Or, you know, like the next thing, like if you want to go get a drink somewhere, you, you offer to buy the first round. And you can just say it so nonchalant. You don't have to make it a, you don't make it a big discussion. You know, if you wanted to go grab a drink afterwards, after that dinner, you say, hey, let's go grab a drink. Uh, I know a great spot around the corner. Uh, first drink's on me. Bam, it's not up for discussion. It's not, it, it's the guys think, the guy has basically got it simplified. He doesn't think about who's paying for the first round. He's got the, the gesture that shows that you appreciate him. And not only do you appreciate him, that you would like to spend more time with him. So you're kind of giving him some approval. Like you're doing good. I want to continue this and so much that I'm even going to pay for the first drink. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to pay for all the drinks. All right. He'll probably get the, he probably has the social awareness to know that if he lets you pay for the first round, he's going to get the second. And then from there, you guys can figure it out. But even that small gesture makes, that makes a guy want to open up his wallet much more than, you know, like if you just allow him to pay, 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 pay. You know, that makes a guy feel comfortable because he feels like you appreciate his time. And if he feels that you're into him, he wants to invest in people who appreciate him. You know, like that's a guy's biggest, one of a guy's biggest fears is he's investing his money into a woman who doesn't appreciate him. Because we all know stories of men who are being used by women who have no romantic interest in them, but they allow them to take them out, buy them things, uh, expensive meals, whatever it is. And, you know, you know these situations where it's basically the guy's getting used. Afterwards, that, that's such a, that's such, so embarrassing for a guy to admit to himself, to others. And then on top of that, he's, he's lost money on something that wasn't even beneficial to him. He was wanting to not, you know, like have somebody owe him anything, but he was wanting to build something. And that person, that woman knew that she had no interest in developing anything with him yet she still allowed him to pay and over and over and over. So that's why it's, I think it's really important that you definitely make that gesture because it tells the guy that you're interested in him. So that's kind of my rule for, you know, who pays on a date. I think if it's your idea, you pay. And sometimes people offer to chip in, but you shouldn't count on it. But even if, but if they do, you can either accept it or not, or you know, it just, it just doesn't have to be a big deal. One thing that I think that people don't understand is that this is much like 
handling, it's, it's like having a fight. Uh, I think having a fight is great for, for people getting to know each other or, or people who are dating because it tells you how you're going to interact when times are kind of rocky. And this is a step below that because times aren't rocky, but how are we handling those awkward moments like uh, fighting over the bill? Are you guys gonna have a big moment of pulling it back and forth, pulling it back and forth? Does he go too far and say, I'm the man, I have to pay. You know, don't, 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 don't make me feel like less of a man. We don't wanna, you know, like that's obviously not a great reaction, but it's also not a great reaction from a woman if she's like, I have to pay. I have to pay because I always pay. I, you know, I'll pay for me. I, that's what I always do. Then she's going overboard. So what we get is this opportunity for people to work through that awkward moment. And how you do it is just real smooth. It, you know, like when you have that gesture, hopefully, uh, of offering to like, hey, can I can I cover the tip? That was a great dinner. Can I can I chip in on the tip? The guy, the guy and you. If he if he feels comfortable, he can say, "Well, sure, okay," you know, and then he's feeling good about it. Or he's like, "Thanks, but um, yeah, I, I've got this." Either way, message accomplished without being awkward. And you know, in the future, you can you can balance some things out later on. And I do understand that some people make more money and some people make less. I think what's most important is that you show your effort and your interest and show it appropriately. And I don't think it requires a lot of money to do that. Some people obviously are making more money, but it's not about the money, it's about the level of investment. So if a guy makes like a million dollars, for him to take somebody out to a $75 dinner, that's still to him like an investment level way down here. If somebody's working at McDonald's and she asks the guy out to a $75 dinner and she pays for it, geez, her level of investment, that was like way up here for her, right? She's got a much, uh, she makes way less money. So, you know, what I think is much more appropriate is, you know, if the guy's a millionaire, uh, you know, that's great for him, but whatever, we don't care about money. But, you know, if, if he pays for like, that $75 dinner, well, maybe she maybe she doesn't pay for dinner, but maybe she pays for ice cream afterwards. All right, so we pay what's fair for us, what's, what's appropriate, not even fair, what's appropriate, okay? Because we're not trying to please everybody. And if you like somebody, the last thing that you want them to do is feel like they're being used, and what you do want them to feel is appreciated. So I think we're coming to this point in 2018 where men and women are going to have to be better at figuring out those awkward moments so that when it comes time for paying the bill, we're not clashing and missing out on each other so that we can kind of do this. And I think one way you can do that is by just offering or understanding a few simple things. Like if you, if you, if you ask somebody out for an activity, you pay for it. You expect to pay for it all. All right, don't expect to not pay for, you know, dessert if you invite them out to dinner. You can't just at the last second say, hey, I had the entrees and the appetizers and um, that'll be $40 for the dessert. You don't do that shit. If you invite somebody out for dinner, you pay for all of that. Um, now afterwards, if you have a separate activity, that's someone else's idea, I think that person is on the hook that they should be expected to, uh, not that they should always have to pay for it, but they should be prepared to, um, to handle those costs. So if you have great ideas, that's awesome, but just don't vol volunteer other people to pay for them. And if you want other people to uh, feel appreciated and feel that you know, you're genuinely interested in them, and not being used, I do think it's important for you to consider splitting those costs. So there, there's kind of my long-winded way of helping you make sense of my method and what I instruct my folks to do for you know understanding who should pay for a first date or any date. I know definitely as we you know go on more and more dates, the costs get up there. It becomes more. Uh, it, it becomes a little bit easier for us to handle that conflict of I'll pay for this or can I get this one this time or you got last time, let me get this one or you got last round, let me get this one. It works its way out over time, but initially it can be extremely uncomfortable, right? Well, remember, just be smooth about it. If you ask somebody out, you're paying, okay? You are expected to pay and if they offer to pay, great. And I do think that if someone is interested in you, 
that is probably one of the biggest ways that they can show it. They don't have to pay for half, they don't have to pay for all of it, but they should make a gesture, uh, you know, of like, maybe the next time, maybe the next time, you know, I'll take you out to a place that that I like. Yeah, you know, I wanna take, maybe next time I'll take you to this Indian spot, it's amazing. Um, or you could say, you know, yeah, ne maybe next week we'll grow, go grab an ice cream on me. Fine, you didn't even have to pay, but there has to be a gesture. Uh, I think that just allows somebody to understand that you're interested and that you're not using them. So even if you if you weren't to offer to pay for the tip or anything, because you know there's a lot of different date activities you have, it might not be like a date where uh, you go to dinner and there's a tip or you know drinks or whatever involved. It might be something simple, but just understand there are always opportunities to display a gesture that you're not using them. And I'll tell you this. The, the, the people that I know who have the most options, have the most men and women on their dates who offer to, to chip in. Or, you know, next time, why? Because they see that person as valuable, they wanna let that person know that they're interested in them. And so it's kind of strange because the people who have the most game get the most people offering to assist in paying for the experience of dating them. So it's kind of it's kind of weird, but not unexpected because they want to see these people so much more or they're, they're interested in them. One way that they're showing that interest and that I think you need to pay attention to because it, it is a sign of interest is a gesture of appreciation uh, of I'm not using you. And that comes along with saying, Maybe next time I'll, I'll cover this, or maybe I'll cover the next drink, or maybe uh, let's get dessert and I'll, 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 I'll take care of it. Uh, let's go around the corner and get a drink. First one's on me, something like that. It's all about the gesture. It doesn't have to do with money. It has to do with, get, you know, like appreciation and that feeling of being safe. I'm not being used. All right, so there you have it, my long-winded explanation of who pays for first date. Thanks for watching. If you appreciated the content, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you believe that learning about better strategies for life and love is advantageous, I invite you to join Get Game Group. Membership is free, open to men and women, offers weekly game video lessons, and a weekly mailbag for member submissions. Click the link in the description to join.